Alright. Um. Alright, everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. Um, I'm one of your TAs. I have office hours from 4 to 6 in Stratton Hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm there with John Helen. We're always here as a resource for you. Um, you can send a, e me an email at n um, rummel at lines. Edu, if you have any questions, um, that's I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Or if you need to set up a time outside of that, we can try and work something out. Uh, first thing that we're going to do in this problem, since it's an undetermined coefficient problem, is uh, state the homogeneous solution. Um, it may be helpful to for you to see this if we move this to the other side. So the derivative of y equals uh, i, so sorry, that's a y. The derivative with respect to t of y equals itself times a negative 2, so we're going to have a c1 e to the negative 2t. Now we move on to the particular case, um, and we see that the derivative of the particular is going to have some term connected to this, which means our best guess is uh, e to the t over 3 times some coefficient. Now we're going to be trying to specify this coefficient by just considering the particular case alone. So we have y particular prime equals the negative 2 times the y particular plus e to the t over 3. Um, we can substitute terms in now, and we see that we have c2 over 3 equals e to the t over 3, um, which equals negative 2 times c2 e to the t over 3 plus e to the t over 3. We can cancel this e to the t over 3 throughout, and then we're left with c2 over 3 equals negative 2 c2 plus 1. Um, we combine like terms, and we get we can, I, I multiplied through, and I got negative 6 c2 plus 3 this equals c2, which means we get 7 over here times c2 equals 3, which means c2 equals 3 sevenths. All right, now we have to consider our initial condition, which we haven't done in the previous problems up to this point. So we have y equals the homogeneous, which is c1 e to the negative 2t, plus this 3 sevenths uh, e to the And we substitute in, and we get 1 equals c1 e to the negative 2 times 0. Any side of the 0 is equal to 1 plus 3 sevenths times e to the 0 divided by 3, which is still e to the 0, which goes to 1. So then we get c1 plus 3 sevenths equals 1, which means that c1 is equal to 4 sevenths which means your explicit solution is y 4 over 7 times e to the negative 2t plus 3 sevenths. That's a 3. Sorry, I didn't read that. e to the t over 